What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple puzzle where you have to collect all the items and the gate will open. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is the gate blueprint itself. So let's go ahead and go into the content browser, just right click, create a new blueprint class. In this case, it will be an actor as we're gonna place it in a world. Let's call this on last BP underscore puzzle gate. And with a capital G will be nice. And let's go ahead and open this blueprint up. So it will be nice if you included the started content because we will have access to a specific border for our door. If I go to here again, just get the door frame and just put it over there. And apart from the door frame itself, I can get the door, which I can just go ahead and select over here move it a bit to the left as you can see we have this nice meshes which looks very cool i'm gonna de uh, disable the snapping so i can precisely just put it more to the left i think this will be good just enable it back again if you don't have the started content it's okay you could just go into add feature or content pack content and import it but of course if you want to use your own assets like a door or whatever you want uh, go ahead and do so Okay, so now let's go ahead and just make a simple event that will open up this door. So let's go into the event graph, delete all of this, create a new custom event, and this will just be open door, door gate, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so for this, we are going to go ahead and create a timeline because it will allow us to change the rotation over time. So let's just call this open door, and in, and now we can just double click to open this and add a flow track. In this case, we can just put whatever name we want, like door rotation. Uh, that's what, the thing that we're going to change. And then we can put a specific length. For me, I think 0.7 will work, or maybe even 1. So depending on what speed you want to open up the door. Just right click at any point, add a key. The first point will be at 0 and 0. So when a time is 0, value is 0. And the second key, which you can just click at any point, uh, will be at the end. So in our case, will be at 1 second, because that's the length. And value will be 1, because it will go from 0 to 1. So it will be completed. Great, so now we have this output over here. So we can just do a LERP and just drag with control from A to alpha. So it will go from this value to this one. So now I can just get my door. Let's go ahead and set the relative rotation. It's very important that it's relative because I'm going to do it in the local space of this blueprint. And just right click, split it. And then we can just plug in our new set rotation because all the other stuff will stay as default. Okay, so now we need to figure out what rotation we want. In this case, it will go from zero in its axis to maybe around, you know, 90 or even 120. I think 120 will work. So let's go ahead and use put zero and 120. Okay, so with that said, now if I were to just, you know, to show you guys this, I can just in the begin play make a small delay of is two seconds and then call open door so you can see that now it will indeed open up our door so if i drag it into world press play wait two seconds and it should go ahead and open with the nice animations you can see and i can go through and everything just looks fine great so now what i have to do is go ahead and first of all just make this a bit bigger so let me just put in 1.3 maybe or even 1.5 i think that would be cool as you know resembling a big gate or um, maybe that's too big <laughs> maybe 1.25 will work and now we just have to create the individual items that we'll pick up and we collect all of them we just go to the door and it should open up so let's go back here and just delete the beginning plate as i was just showcasing our animation and we can just right click create a new blueprint class and this time will be another actor same this bp underscore puzzle item and let's open this up okay so now in here what i'm going to do is just add a simple static mesh which will be our item mesh in this case i don't really have an item mesh so we can really put whatever we want uh so you know if you want you can choose a specific model but in my case i'm gonna put this and real material, you know, thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna make it smaller, so maybe like 0.2. And we can just assign a, uh, no, okay, it's okay. Uh, but that should be good. We can leave our collision with no collision. And then we can just go ahead and add a collision over here, which will be, for example, I guess we just 
put a sphere. So this will be our trigger, okay? So when our player enters the zone, we can pick up our item. So we make this bigger, so maybe like around 100. When our player enters in the begin overlap, we're gonna check if the other actor is indeed our player, so we can just cast to it. So just cast to whatever character blueprint you're using, and then if it goes ahead and continue, that means that it is our player indeed that has entered this trigger, so we can just go ahead and destroy this actor because we want to you know beat up and then uh, before we destroy it we will have to go ahead and here uh, add some value into our puzzle gate so we can open this up so for that what i am going to do is go to the puzzle gate right click create a new custom event and in this case this will be a co collect item okay so let's compile go here and just collect item and of course of course we do have to uh, get the puzzle gate so a way to do this just get actor of class so we can just find in our level our gate and then from there just go ahead and collect item now i do have to mention that if you were to have more than one gates in our level this will always pick the first one that it finds so you would need to somehow reference that specific one you want to open this can be done with a variable or whatever you prefer but in this case i'm going to do it simple just get the first one that i see in the level because i will only use one okay but I just want to let you know that okay so with that said let's go back to our puzzle gate and let's create a new variable which will be current items collected and of course this will be an integer and as it will just be a whole number and i'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this and this will be the max items collectible. All right, so let's go ahead and just compile and just make these two values public so we can see them from outside and just put in the max items collectible, let's put around maybe, we have to pick up five, okay? Doesn't really matter whatever number you choose, but um, you know, as you prefer. Okay, so for now, what I am going to do is get the current items collected and use this nice method, which is the plus plus. So it will automatically add one and assign it. And I'm gonna check if this number, now that it has incremented, is bigger or equal than the max amount of items that are collectible. If so, I want to go ahead and open up the door. So I can just go ahead and go open door. And with this, I am going to make sure to only do this once. So just add a do once node because I don't want the door to bug out. So do once, there we go. So it only happen once. Great, so with that said, this in theory should go ahead and work. So now if I go and drag in my puzzle items in our floor, so we need five, okay? Now I can press play. As you can see when I pass, it disappears and I'm basically collecting them and adding them into the door. You can see it went ahead and opened. But it will be cooler if we had to go to the door and press E to open up with all the items collected, right? So let's go and change this a bit. So instead of what we can do is just right click, create a new custom event, and this will be open door, check. And here is where we are actually gonna do the check. So instead of doing it, when we add the item, it will only be when we want to open the door. So in this case, now when we collect the items, it will not automatically open the door if we have the necessary ones. It will only happen when we call this, which will happen uh, when our player is inside. So for this, let's go ahead and just add a new collider. In this case, a box collider will do. This will be our trigger. And then I can just go ahead and make this bigger. But instead of from just the normal scale, it's better to do it with the box extent. So let's just go ahead and just fill this up. It doesn't have to be exact. I think like this should do the trick. And now with that said, what I can go ahead and do, compile, is just go back to the third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using. And then when we press the E key or whatever you prefer, I am going to make a for each loop. So I am going to be getting all the overlapping actors. So the actors that uh, my player is right now on. And this will be, you know, true because I have this trigger that I will be on. So my cat will be overlapping. So it should pop up here. We can leave the class empty. So if so, I can just go ahead and just cast to the puzzle gate. 
And with that, if it's the puzzle gate, I can just go ahead and check open door. So with that said, now I can just press play and you'll see how I can go ahead, collect all of my items, like I so, and then go into my door. You can see that uh, I can trespass, don't worry, we'll add a collation in a second, but when I press E, it will open up. But if I were to press E before collecting the necessary items, if I only, for example, connect, uh, collect just two or even three, you can see that now it will not open the door. So you can put a special message or whatever you want. Now quickly, let's go into the door itself. Double click on the static mesh and just add a simple box collision over here. So at least we cannot, you know, go through the door. <laughs> and that should be it. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unview Engine type throws, so check them out. The profiles will be available in my uh, Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. Join my subscriber, follow me on socials. Now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.